What's up, backyard bass and freaks? Hey, today we are going to go over three simple swim baits that are on the smaller size that I use on pretty much a daily basis when I'm using swim baits. But first, if I could, if you guys are liking the content on this channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up. And at any time you possibly can, share it to your Facebook, your Instagram, whatever you got out there. I'd really greatly appreciate it. So let's get into today's video. All right, guys. So today we're talking about the three simple swim baits that I use. And like I said, these are on the smaller size. You know, you're talking just the three to four inch material. So first up is going to be the Kitek. This is the 3.8. It's the fat, uh, fat impact. I do like throwing this bait. You can see it here. It's a pretty simple swim bait. You know, got little ribs down it. The one thing about the Kitex that I do like is they have a little bit of, they've got a little juice in there um, in the salt. So it does sink a little bit faster than let's say like the Rage Swimmer, which is almost the identical bait. But these do tend to sink a little bit faster than what the Rage Swimmer does. Um, they got great tail action, you know, really good back and forth action to them. Uh, they got a real good feel to them. They're soft plastic. Um, with that being said, you know, they get hooked up a lot they get tore up a lot so but to help you guys out with that if you would i'll link this down in the description tackle junkie just put out a, a, a video today on a little tool that'll help you save your plastics especially little swim baits like this so i'll link his video down in the description make sure you guys go check his channel out he's well worth subscribing to i'm telling you he's got some great content on that channel and he's a great dude so make sure you guys go hit his channel up after this so that's the, uh, like I said, the Kitek Swing Impact. That's the first one we're going to go over. Second one is going to be that Rage Swimmer. Rage Swimmer, it's identical. I mean, there's really no difference between them except for this one doesn't have the salt in it and everything like the Kitek does. Um, depending on if you're going to be throwing it on a weedless setup or a jig head is going to make all the difference in the world on that sinking rate. But a lot of times when I'm throwing this, I'm throwing it on a pretty light setup. So sometimes this one, if you got it on that real light setup, you can tell a little bit of a difference if you're swimming it down a bank or something like that. So this, like I said, this has got the exact same action as the Kitek. It just doesn't swing, doesn't sink quite as fast as those. Um, other than that, I mean, there's really no difference. They got the, the ridge on the bottom for your hook and on top, just like the Kitek does. Same size. Like I said, there's really no difference in plastics or nothing other than the salt. But um, that's about it on that. This next one, the third one I'm going to get into. Now, guys, I've been throwing this for, uh, it's probably been a month now. And uh, Tackle Junkie's actually the one that turned me on to Biospawn baits. I didn't ever really throw them or anything till then. Um, he actually gave me a pack of them, and I had actually ordered some. But this is going to be the Biospawn, the Exoswim. This is the 4-inch. Um, off the bat, right off the bat, I'll tell you guys, I was like, Okay, it's just another little swim bait, no big deal. Um, it had a little bit different body characteristics to it. You know, it's, it's got the long ridges instead of the little bit short ones. Tail's about the same, no big deal. Until I started throwing this bait. Um, I will show you, this is the Kitek right here. This is the Exo Swim. Like I said, there's no difference in sizes there except for it's just a hair longer. Like I said, same tail. Same design, same swim, right? No, not at all. This bait here, um, it's got the same tail action as the Rage Swimmer, as the Kai Tech, but the one thing this has above both of them and most of them out there, I will tell you, is this bait not only has this good tail action, but when it's coming through the water, that bait's rolling back and forth constantly. It's got a ton of action for that. And guys, if you fish, swim jigs or anything like that or you're going to use a trailer i'm telling you this bait right here will get you a few more bites with that roll like that that body roll is what just absolutely gets them killed um i fish the shadowlicious a lot which is a lot bigger swim bait you know five and a half inch um but the one thing that keyed me into that bait particularly was the body roll um and this is the first little bait like this that i've seen that has that good body roll like that uh, the Rage Swimmer, the Kitek, they just, it's a straight retrieve. 
you know, when it's coming back, you're just you're just getting that little bit of wiggle all the way through the body. Not with this thing. I mean, like I said, this thing's got the tail kicking back and forth, and that body's just rolling back and forth too. Um, makes a big difference. So that's all I got on those guys. Like I said, it's not a very long video. It's not a real in-depth video, but just my opinion on these three. Um, like I said, I use them all the time. Um, like I said, I want to thank Tackle Junkie for getting me on these. I really, really like these baits. And I will say on the Biospawn stuff, I have noticed that the plastic does last a little bit longer than what Rage products or the, the uh, Kitex do. Um, it's just a little bit stronger plastic. It doesn't have the salt in there like the Kitex either, but um, like I said, this does last a little bit longer than the other two. Um, not a whole lot longer, but a little bit. So. Uh, like I said, guys, at the beginning of the video, if you could, you know, hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up and share wherever you can. And I'd greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you guys again.